All right, guys, this is it. This is it. Big day. Big day. Moomin Riders first actual race. You'll get some pictures and some footage of us actually there and everything. So you'll see. You'll see. My first time kind of mashing up some and seeing how it goes, but it's, it's going to be cool. The race day was awesome. It was awesome. <clears throat> it was tough, though, I will say. A first ever race. Super, super tough, but it's going to be good. You'll see how it goes, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Moon Rider channel. Steve and myself here on race day. Hopefully our preparation will pay off. We'll get to see lots of uh, lots of first place ribbons. <laughs> 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 anyway, fueling because important. Munching on some bars. Gonna spin it out a little bit. Race yep. starts in about ten minutes. Gonna head over. Gonna crush. Cool. Hopefully, while we're staying on our bikes and not getting crushed while we're <laughs> falling. But anyway, it's gonna be fun either way. Well, at least one of the ways. But yeah. So this was the race course. Super, super fast race course. I felt like it was a lot downhill. A few spots that, two little small climbs in it. But for the most part, downhill. As you can see, I averaged a pretty good pace, especially since I was dropped. But I'll get more into that later. But it was, it was fun. It was really, really good. Where are they starting? This was Steve and myself at the start line. As you can see, guys, huge, huge turnout. Like, tons of people. Over 70. So this was my wife taking some video footage of us starting the race. As you can see, this is where Steve and myself make our first big mistake. Especially for the first time being in a peloton this big. As you can see, the last two riders already off the back. Steve and myself. And that's how we get dropped. So guys, at the start of this race, I'm going to be putting some of myself just talking through some of the things in between. Actual footage highlights on the day. At the start of the race, Steve and I were like, okay, big group, big pack. What do we do here? What's our strat? Our strat was just literally to survive in the group. Everyone had been saying, oh, we're not going to last even a lap. We were like, we're going to prove them wrong. But we ended up just uh, proofing them right because we didn't last a lap. We didn't last half a lap. So, my wife over there cutting things up. Anyway, wow, she's a hoot. Glad I married her. But anyway, where was I? So, we're like, we're going to stay right at the front. Well, no, we weren't going to stay at the front. We're like, we're going to stay right in the middle of the group. In the middle of the group. But did we? No, we ended up being at the back. And like I mentioned before, first mistake. First mistake. Because we had never been in a Peloton before. Especially one over a terrain, which is pretty fast, but it still has some risers up and down, up and down a little bit. Because of that, there is a huge bungee effect to the Peloton. And it was literally just like, you know, snapping people off the back because it would slow down. You'd slam on your brakes and almost crash people in front of you. And then it would take off really quickly again. And you'd be like sprinting to try to, and we aren't even going around corners. This is just on a straight stretch. We're like, this should be basic and easy. Why are we not catching people? You know, or why are we like, why is it a huge rubber band effect? <clears throat> So that's how Steve and I, we both got dropped within, within a half a lap. It was crazy. But anyway, we, we still enjoyed it, enjoyed the ride, and yeah, more to come. So after I got dropped, I'm just like, it's such an awful feeling. You're getting dropped and you're working so hard to try to get back onto the Peloton and they're just slowly pulling away and you're just like sprinting, burning yourself out. So I'm just like, this isn't gonna work. And I'm seeing other people, one, two, twos and threes, just kind of getting burned off the back as well. So I'm just like, well, hopefully I'll just group up with some of them. So I'm just 
I slow down a little bit, try to not just be burning myself out, because I'm like, we still have four laps to do, and I'm only on a half lap, so I still have three and a half laps to do. So, I start going, I see two people up ahead of me, I get behind them, they're going at a bit slower of a pace, but then I had seen this one guy who looked really fast, he had kind of dropped off the back, I don't know if he kind of wrecked or something, but, or maybe just bumped or got a drop chain or something, so he was kind of off side of the road, and so we pass him, and then about a minute later, he comes past us, and I'm just like, these two people I'm with, they're going too slow, I can go faster than this, so I jump on this fast guy, I jump on his draft, and then we start going, and then we start working together, and going, and going, and I'm like, this is good, we're actually making, making progress here, I don't think we'll be able to catch the peloton, because they're flying, and... I think you could have seen in the picture, my average speed was only 22 miles an hour. Well, their average speed, the Peloton's average speed the whole time was 25 miles an hour. 25.3 like or something, whatever. So they were fast. Um, no breakaways got away. The Peloton group just literally stayed together all the way until the end, of, and then they did a big sprint finish. So a breakaway tried to get away in the first lap, but it was like, it was caught. So then they all decided to be like, yeah, we're just going to hang out and chill together until the lap, until the end. So, so I get with this guy, we're rolling. We do one whole lap together, come finish it. And then we're coming around the second lap together. We're still rolling, making good progress, switching poles and stuff. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to pull off and stop because we passed a gas station right when we're finishing the lap, there's a gas station near the kind of the finish line. He pulls off and he's just like, oh, I need to stop and like get a snack or something. I'm just like, dude, we were working so well together. Luckily, we were already catching another group of people ahead of us. So I was like, I can join them. So he pulls off and then I joined this group of people. And that's who you see me with on the next turn, on the next video. You see me with this group of people. It was four and then another person had dropped off. So it ended up being a group of five, me and four other people. And we started working pretty well together too. So this is me coming around the third lap with a group of five. All right. So now I'm with this group of five guys and we have about one and a half laps left to do. And I'm just like, okay, this is actually still a race, so what's my strat here? What am I going to do? I haven't seen Steve. He was dropped a little bit before me, so he's probably way behind somewhere. So he's out of the question of helping me. So I'm just like, what can I do? Five guys, I'm in a group of five. What can I do to try to beat them and win? Two of the guys look like super strong sprinters. So I'm just like, well, I can't keep them in the group until the finish line because they look like they'd be able to out sprint me. I'm a climber. I'm only like 135 pounds. And these guys look like 180 pounds, just like huge leg muscles. They could just stand up and just be like putting out a thousand watts. And I'm just like trying my hardest and getting barely over 800 watts, which is still good for my size. But I'm just like, okay, I'm going to lose in a sprint. Basically, that's the bottom line. So I'm like, what can I do? To try to shake them or get rid of them. Well, like I said before, this this route is pretty flat, pretty fast, but it does have two climbs. So coming into the last lap, you know, it's a it's a triangle. Uh, not a triangle, it's a square. But on the back half of the square, there are the two climbs, and then you take the last turn, and it's a flat all the way until the finish line, pretty much. <laughs> so I was just like. On the back half, if I do those two climbs and I push kind of hard on one and then the second one, which is the longer one and a little bit steeper, if I really kind of drill it and push really hard, we'll see what happens. So that's what I do. The first one I kind of push really hard. Some of them look like they're really laboring a little bit, struggling. And I'm like, okay, okay. And then we get to the second one. And... I was really trying to time my pulls at the front too, so I'd be resting at certain spots and not resting at other spots and whatnot. So <clears throat> we get to the second climb and I gun it. I'm just like, I'm gonna go for it. I'm sprinting up this climb. And so I, I like pour in a lot, a lot of power into this one climb. 
and I'm able to drop all of them except one. So our group of five just went to a group of two, which is actually really good. I'm really proud about that. But the thing is, this guy, he was the one guy in the group I was just like, I don't think I can drop him. He seems pretty strong. And he was pretty strong because he before he'd already been doing a lot of the polls. Him and myself, we had kind of been pulling the group the most in the front. There had been some pretty good rotations, but he was pulling the most in the front. So I was just like, he seems pretty strong too, so he's able to stick with me. And that's that's kind of demoralizing a little bit, because I'm just like, dude, I'm pulling so hard, and he's just sticking on my wheel. But then we get to, we get to the last little bit. The other three guys are completely off out of the picture, so then we just start rotating. We make the last right turn. We just kind of start rotating. I'm on the front, front probably 80%, though, the last little run into the finish line. And he gets on and does, like, one pull for about 30 seconds, and then he gets back off behind me, does the elbow flick, gets back off behind me. I'm like, dude. And I don't really want the other guys to catch us because two of them look like really good sprinters. So I'm just like, oh, I keep needing to put on the pressure to try to stay away. So, Yeah. And this was some sick footage taken by my awesome wife. Some guys coming into the finish line. Unfortunately, I wasn't in that group because I got dropped and I was too slow. <laughs> but anyway, it was cool. You're so this was there. me coming into the finish line. Look One guy again. on my tail. Pretty tired at this point. So yeah, the first group, huh, my wife took some video footage of. She wasn't sure if I was in that group. And I wasn't. They were, they were going a bit fast. So I was in that second group, you, you see the video of it, so it's just me and one other guy. So we're getting to the finish line, I'm like, dude, I've been pulling this whole way, what's going to happen right here? And I start soft pedaling a little bit, I'm still kind of putting a little bit of pressure on, he's just sticking in my draft, he's been sticking in my draft the last like two minutes. So I'm just like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, what's going to go happen here? So I start soft pedaling a little bit. I shift my gear so I'm in a pretty good sprinting gear right off the bat and then I'm kind of coasting kind of looking behind me a little bit and then I hear him get up I hear him shift and get up and start standing and so then I get up and just gun it and stand he doesn't come around me doesn't come past me and I'm able to beat him at the line I don't know by how much I didn't look back I just put my head down and just went so <laughs> that was kind of cool my first kind of sprint finish I was in a group of five, I was able to come first out of those five guys. What was good is, <clears throat> I don't know how many other people dropped out of the race or anything, but out of 75 people who were doing the race, I was able to come in 68 out of 75, which is pretty awesome, pretty cool. I don't know <clears throat> exactly how many people were there at the start line. There were 75 people on the roster who had signed up. And I know I was able to pass seven of them, so I was in 68th place. So, 68 out of 75, not bad for my first race. I don't know if any other people crashed out or dropped out. But it was, uh, it was pretty good, pretty, pretty good for a first race, yeah. And this was Steve making his last turn before he heads down the straightaway to the finish line with two other people. That was just a quick little video we got of Steve coming around. And he was able to catch up to another group of two riders who were pretty strong. So he was able to stay with them for the last lap or so. I forgot how long he said. So this is good. If you're able to get with someone and bike with them and do drafting, you're able to do a lot, lot better than if you were trying to do it all yourself solo in the wind. So the fastest group ended up doing it in like an hour and 56 minutes I think it was and so I did it in like two hours and 14 minutes something like that so I was just a little bit behind them a little bit I was around 16 or 17 minutes behind the main group and then Steve rolled in after me at two hours and 30 minutes so he was about 15 ish minutes behind me so it was overall pretty pretty good so we were able to Go well, go hard, and yeah. This was a picture of Steve and myself taken after the race, discussing our strategies and how they completely and utterly all fell apart. We'll be better prepared next time, for sure.
And last but not least, beautiful picture of my wife and daughter as they took some awesome footage for us. Next time, hopefully, I'll have a GoPro or something so I can take some footage of us on the bike. But she was able to still snap quite a bit with her phone and send it over to me. And it was good. Good, good stuff. So yeah, guys, that was just about all of the race. You still need to hear Steve's version. He might give his input and say some stuff here and there about it. Not in this probably video, but in some other videos. We're going to be trying to do some mashups and stuff like that. But it was fun. Definitely worthwhile. Definitely a learning experience. We're going to get better, get stronger, and hopefully get dropped not as quickly still will probably get dropped but just not as quickly in the next one so that's the goal guys so thanks for watching and next time keep you guys posted on the next moon rider events coming up don't forget to like subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff so we can keep you updated on things to